In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a live USB stick using a Mac. A live USB stick is good because it gives you the opportunity to test out an operating system without actually installing it. So what we're going to do is write the files to a USB stick and then boot from that USB stick. In order to get the best out of this video, watch it right the way through. There's some really important things right the way through the video. If you miss anything out, you could have some problems. Before we get started, make sure you have the following. A USB stick uh, around about the size of 8 gigabytes. 8 gigabytes will be just fine. And you're going to need UNET booting. So if you don't have that, download it now. To begin, um, we're going to format the disk. So we do command space and type disk utility. Now, my, uh, my disk here is, is already formatted, but I'll show you what to do. Select this one here, um, go to Erase, and you see this is Mac OS Extended Journal, so we can, we can just leave that. We go to Partition, and the partition here is this one. This is, this is what it is. Let's just go back to the petition, and that is um, MS DOS FAT. And to make it, what you do is you just select current and then go to one partition. Even if you only have one partition there, if you already have a partition there, just do this anyway. Select one and then um, make sure that this format here is uh, MS DOS and then go to apply down here and you'll be fine. I'm going to open up UNET booting and before last time in the last video we uh, downloaded the distribution using this UNET booting piece of software. Well this, this time we're going to do it different. What we're going to do is make a live USB stick. Next click on this button Navigate to where you have the uh, files. Mine is on the desktop. Then select the um, operating system that you're going to use. Mine is Ubuntu. And Make sure that you have your uh, your USB selected down here. So type USB drive, and then where it is lo located, and then click OK. This may take a little time to do, so I'm just going to speed this up. During this process you may find that the blue bar here suddenly freezes and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Don't worry, just leave it to do its thing. It may do that a couple of times throughout this process. Like I say, don't worry, just let it do its thing. Okay, so now it's finished and at the bottom here it says the created USB will not boot off a Mac insert into a PC. Okay, now I'm going to show you that this works. I'm going to pop this into this machine here. And I'm going to boot from the BIOS. Okay, so 
Um, here you can see this is the uh, USB stick. So I'm going to boot from there. And now I have um, unit booting and it's got the options. Um, and I want to try Ubuntu without installing. It's just going to automatically go into it anyway. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And here is um, Ubuntu. I go to Firefox. And I can surf like I would usually do. Or else I go to YouTube because that's that's original, <laughs> right? Um, so I'm using this just the same way as I would any other computer. So I quit out of that. Um, you could open up one of uh, these. So as you can see, you can use this just the same way as you would do your computer, except for um, when I shut down any files, no, nothing will be saved. Shuts down pretty quick, doesn't it? Now that's shut down, if I start this up, and don't boot from the BIOS, it will boot into the host machine, which is Debian. Do you have a favorite operating system? If so, why not leave a comment and state why it's your favorite operating system? Um, the reason why I'm booting this up is because I want to show you that although I've been using Ubuntu from the USB stick, it doesn't affect my host operating machine. I can once I've, I've once I've uh, finished with uh, the live disk, the host operating machine is untouched. I just boot into it as I usually would do.